Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I am going to show you how to use the multiple shapes in Figma and the different ways you can use them. So let's start with the basic rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool is the first of all the shape options, which uh, the shape option panel is right here. So four good examples are these. A regular box, which is uh, very popular for backgrounds, a stroked box for outlines, a box with rounded corners, or a box with inside outlines, or a pill shape box. So the pill shape box is especially interesting as if you make it a square, then it becomes an ellipse. But if you were to stretch this out, it does not stretch like an ellipse would. It would essentially cut off the end at a half semicircle. So as you can see, it makes a pill resembling shape and that's why it's called the pill shape. And you can only achieve this with the rectangles tool. And then a very simple tool, the line tool. Uh, this is very useful for making uh, vector art, and there's many ways you can use this tool uh, to help your needs. So a basic line is just this line, and then a line with a bend in it, and then the arrow, and then an arrow with a bend in it. And what I mean with the bends is you can double click it and open up the vector drawing tool and actually create more anchor points and customize the line however you want. And then we got the ellipses tool. The ellipses tool gives you lots of customization. You can use the regular circle, the regular stroke, the pie, or the outlined pie. Now I can show you how to make the pie and the outlined pie and the regular stroke. So you can make this stroke simply by pressing on the stroke panel and increasing the stroke and deleting the fill. But there is a better way to do this. What we can do is if you click on this arc tool, then you actually, it, it brings up some options that are quite interesting. As you can see, we've achieved this pie shape that we got. And if you decrease the ratio, then it actually makes a very cool outline. And then you simply close the gap again, and there you go. And then we have the polygon tool. So the polygon tool lets you make a multi-polygon object, starting with a triangle. So with the triangle, we actually round its corners enough to make it an ellipse. And then we can actually take the count slider and simply drag and then it essentially gives us more sides just like we did with this hexagon and I rounded the corners of this hexagon as well and you could round it again making the ellipse and what's interesting about this ellipse over here is that as a count of four which means that it becomes a diamond like shape so this does not extend like the rectangle ellipse does but instead it extends like a polygon object and then the last but not least is the star tool, the most updated tool by Figma. Uh, you can achieve a star simply like this, and you can actually round its corners and increase or decrease its peaks, and even decrease it all the way so it goes to the center if you zoom in enough. And again, you can actually create an ellipse like this. Well, that's all the shapes that are available in Figma. If you would like to create custom shapes, just go up to the pen tool and simply draw out your shape. And you can add a fill, and to simply add a background and a stroke as such. That's all for today. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe and drop a like if you'd like to see more of this content. See ya.